Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly card read. I do want this to kind of be a timeless card read for whenever it finds you, but it was originally aired on a Mystic Monday. This one originally aired on June 24th, but these card reads, I really do want them to be an intuitive exercise for you. So I have this up here for the most part so you guys can see what's going on up here with my camera that I have for now. Better cameras are to come. I promise you they are in the works. So, but yes, I do want you to use your intuition. Whatever the cards are saying to you, listen to yourself. Allow me to confirm your intuition. If I'm not confirming your intuition, if you find yourself arguing with the reading, this is not your reading and I ask you to put it down and to let it go and allow others to come forward whose this reading is more for. Not that no attention for that. I mean, anyways, if you want a personalized reading from me, you can check out my website, themystichillbilly.com. But for now, let's get into the weekly card reading, shall we? I begin with the astrology dice, which I have over here. I said I was going to grab them before I started, but sometimes we don't think, do we? <laughs> I have that AUHD. <laughs> it's a mix of autism and ADHD. It's a wonderful blend. Alright guys, let's see what the astrology does has in store for us. What energies are we working with this week? Okay, so we have Mars. So a lot of action energy that we'll be working with this week. We have the eighth house. So and you know in old astrology, Mars also ruled the eighth house, but now Pluto does. And we have Libra, the justice. So I'm feeling like defend your boundaries and um, it's just and it's right for you to full moon celebration. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six of pinnacles. I have a pinnacle here. And we're six. So, let's see, I guess we could, could just keep going down. I never do these the same, do I, guys? <laughs> so, I just, I feel like, you know, Mars and Libra is a very passive-aggressive energy. So, there might, this week, we might be dealing with some passive-aggressive energies. You may be passive-aggressively trying to defend your boundaries protect your boundaries let's see if we can make these kind of and then we bring love to the justice um i also i also feel like it, there's a reason to celebrate that you're moving towards um your justice you're moving towards your you know divine up and coming <laughs> and it's it's just it's right you you've I hear take action on your transformation you have taken action on your transformation you continue to you you're moving forward towards your abundance and there's a call to celebrate this week I feel to celebrate how far you've come all right let's move into the cards so do I want to get any runes this week? Yeah, let's go ahead and start with some runes. See what comes through. Okay, there for a second I was thinking there might just be one rune this week. And then there was three. So, okay, Burkana, you're birthing something new. It's going to take strength and endurance. And, um, time. I feel like this is just the beginning because this is like this is the beginning of a birth is what I'm hearing. Look what it says if you put it this way it says but. <laughs> it's, 
sorry. <laughs> All right, sorry. But, <laughs> um, yeah. But, 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 but. Okay, so I feel like, let's see. The week starts with new beginnings and um, sh new understandings. I feel like the midweek is a time of strength and endurance and continuing to move forward and pushing through. And then the end of the week, the weekend is a time, like I feel like I'm hearing the full moon come in now, time to celebrate, but it's a time to um, understand that things, we're, we're celebrating our progress, we're not celebrating necessarily the harvest at this weekend. This isn't a celebrating of harvest quite yet, but we're trusting and having faith in the harvest and celebrating our progress as we have understanding that it's going to take time. It's going to take time, but we've made progress. But something it birth something's birthing at the beginning of the month. What is it? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if I can get some room cards in here. If they will elaborate for me. What are we birthing? Uh, we're birthing something that has taken a lot of strength and inner energy that we've been working on, I guess. Uh, divine... You know, messages from the divine, divine inspiration. We've been, yeah, time again, like time and time. That that definitely got confirmed. Is it's gonna take time. I feel like something that we've been working on, we're gonna get new information on how to move forward. We've been putting a lot of strength and effort into this. Which you do, you put a lot of strength and effort into birthing something. Trust me, as a mother of three, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. And I, I just, I feel like we continue to move forward midweek. And at the end of the week, it's not that everything worked out. It's that we trust and we have faith that it will. Because we, time, now it's on, time, time is the only thing holding us back or the only thing in our way now we've we've put in our vitality and we put it all into it you know we've given it we've given it our all <laughs> we were divinely inspired and we continued to move forward now it's just time but at the same time while you're waiting i hear celebrate celebrate what you've done celebrate your vitality Celebrate your ability to come forth. Celebrate your ability to listen. And uh, get that higher divine inspiration that you needed and you need. You have needed and you continue to need. Alright. So. Let's see. Let's take the cards off. I think we're going to leave this one over here. To remind us that it's these things are going to take time. And time is on our side is another thing I'm hearing. Time's on our side. But at the same time, we have to love and trust this time. <laughs> Alright, so I like to grab a goddess provision card at this point. Which is a wonderful subscription box that I get. And, uh... They've been working with me and they just they give out these cards every now and then with the this backing. Well, I guess I'll show you here. Yes. And there's just all kinds of them. So let's see what we pull. Alright, so what came out is the moon. So, I feel like what's being said here is like, we'll have a tendency to get in our head. And, I, you know, I heard subconscious and then I heard 
work out subconscious energy. Work out subconscious energy. I don't know why, but I, I am feeling like the only thing in your way is you and your subconscious and the way that you choose to feel. Yeah, to feel. And working out those is what's going to help put time on your side. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to move into the tarot at this point to see if I can get any further clarification or better understanding of the energy. So maybe a new message. So let's see what we got. So I do not take reversals for this one, this card deck. Although that one would be a one to reverse, but I'm not I'm hearing no. I'm not doing that. Now that's that's if this is the energy that I was picking up with this is kind of like um we're we're while waiting on the time, we there's a tendency for us to get in our head. Um, because it's you know, the weekend is, you know, it's going to seem like the inspiration, the work was for nothing, but it wasn't. It was not for nothing. That's all in your head. It's in your head. Okay. And um, that, that's kind of the energy I was picking up because I'm like, that's, that's not how I would read the moon card normally, but yeah, this nine of swords energy is kind of, what I'm putting up, it, it's like you choose your feelings. And, you know, like I was saying at the beginning, we, we have this divine inspiration. Uh, we're birthing something new, which, you know, the further clarification, it's like um, a new thing with something that we've been working on. And we gain inspiration and we feel really, really inspired and we move forward. And, it's going to take time. You don't see instant results. You, you're not supposed to see instant results. And at this point, you're supposed to celebrate your progress. Celebrate your progress and have love and trust that the results are going to show at their own time. In their own time. So, I, I, I but if you think that you're not having instant results because it's this isn't right or you know you get in your head about it you know then the time may never come that you see the results you, you could get in your head and you can block your results I don't want to see that all right we ran out of room on the camera all right guys sorry about that um yeah i ran out of space on my camera and honestly that was my bad and i think all things that happen in a reading is for a reason and um honestly at the beginning of this reading i took a lot of time for setup and getting everything just right and i found the perfect way to set it up and I was recording that and I recorded like 20 minutes of nothing so that took up space and that was just absent-mindedness you know and I knew I knew that I needed to delete the previous recordings and the make room and make space for the new recording but I didn't do that. I just continued to move forward. So I think that that's coming up in this reading for a reason, for a message for you, 
um, to not move forward in absent-mindedness. And if you know that you need to take care of something before you go do something else, don't tell yourself it'll be all right and move forward. You will face the consequences if you do that. So go ahead and take care of what you know needs to be taken care of before you move forward. All right, guys. And whenever I turn the thing on, um, I'm pretty sure earlier the whole, everything fit in the screen. But now I'm just unable. Like, look, there's things further up. And yeah, now I'm just unable to fit everything in the screen like I did earlier. So we're just going to rearrange things a little bit and we will move forward from there. And I think that that is also a sign. Um, and this happened at the beginning of the reading. So I think at the beginning, right, like that's what I'm saying. There's, there's a rearrange that needs to be done. And then you move forward with your inner strength and your inner power. And you're not going to see results. And it's just, from there, it's, you got to put it in time's hand. And you can't worry and stress and just, because then you're destroying time's ability to bring it to you. And honestly, I know that this reading is being aired on a Mystic Monday where during the week, Saturn will be going retrograde. So Saturn goes retrograde for five months. So whenever you get this reading, I feel like you're not going to really see results for five months or more. Maybe even six months. Or nine. I'm hearing nine months. <laughs> so this is not, you're, there's not going to be instant results here. But at the same time, a rearrange is needed. Continue to move forward. And don't get in your head. Don't allow yourself to get in your head. And take, oof, and take care of, of what you need to take care of. All right, guys. All right. So let's get the next tarot, the tarot of dreams, and let's see what other messages we can have for this week. If there's any confirmation on these energies, what is going on? Yeah, see, the wheel is turning, but I feel like it's, it's starting to favor you. The will is starting to favor you and fortune. Yeah, see, there's faith. Faith is needed at the end of the week. Oh, and movement in the middle of the week. There's this steadfast movement at the middle of the week. And at the beginning of the week, things are changing. I keep hearing that song, things are changing. Or, I also hear a change will do you good. <laughs> I um I apologize guys. Um I could be a good singer if I, I guess if I would have tried but <laughs> I I tried other things. But yes, I feel like the wheel of fortune is changing and it is it is beginning to turn and whether that's towards your fortune or not I'm hearing <laughs> it depends on what you're aiming for. If you were aiming for a higher self-worth, then this will of fortune is turning towards your fortune. If you are aiming for a lower self-worth, then this is heading towards your misfortune. And if, you know, if you, if you're aligning with the cosmic energies of meekness, love, light, um, unity participation community then this is a will towards your favor and if you are moving towards power control power for power's sake control um old paradigm way of moving in the dark this is not a will of fortune for your favor. And so it's for us to also understand that I feel like darkness could be exposed in this type of energy. And midweek, again, is a time to continue to move forward. 
and I feel like you're you're gonna start to begin to feel it's like a righteous indignation it's like the type of feeling so watch out for that and I feel like watch out for others that come at you with this righteous indignation and be willing to defend yourself where necessary and just take care of yourself and worry about you know how others treat you reflects them how you treat them reflects you so understand that and that's it's going to take strength and determination to move forward midweek and the end of the week you're going to have to have faith because you might be at the end of the week thinking okay i guess i was on lower self-worth because i do not feel like that fortune that will that will turn towards my fortune I feel like, yeah, but you're going to have to have faith because this will happen five to six months into the future or longer. Five to nine months into the future is what I'm hearing. Five to nine months, depending on who you are and how much you block it. You could block it longer. There's others that would block it longer, but this um, having faith would not block it. And the more that you have faith, the closer to five months your fortune whatever that may be it I'm not it's not a will of fortune turning towards like your riches and bank account fortune it's it's a fortune of inner strength and inner confidence and inner love for life so that's more what this fortune that i'm talking about is all right, so let's move forward and see what the Tarot of Journey has to say for us. All right, all right, Tarot of Journey. Everybody's upside down. Oh, not the end. Okay, so Tarot of Journey is kind of giving me the opposite. <laughs> not really. It's like, um, I don't know. It's very interesting. I, the way that I'm reading this is it's like you're building up something but you're building it up wrong you're going against the flow and you don't know that and you keep looking down for advice I feel like the advice that you're getting is right but you're looking down for advice when I feel like you should be looking up so it's so strange and it leads to abundance it leads to the ability to okay again it leads to the birthing of the ability to gain abundance so it doesn't lead to it right away you have to have faith you're gonna have to have faith in this you're gonna have to have faith in this because it does not lead there right away but i i feel like it leads to the beginning so where i want to turn this around i i'm hearing not to and because this is like moving against the flow taking advice from hell Keeping the faith leads to abundance. And <laughs> that's not the message. Like I'm hearing, I'm hearing loud and clear. No, 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 no. But that's like, <laughs> that's how I'm getting it here. I, let me, let me reverse it then. <laughs> let me add some loving energy here. Okay, so. This is moving forward despite what may come against you. Looking within and seeing the wisdom of your roots and moving forward with that wise root energy. Being able to continue to hold the faith you will grow and harvest will happen 
Again, I'm hearing, I'm seeing that five-pointed star. Five months. That is more correct. That's the correct interpretation there. So thank you, Spirit, for working that out with me. All right. I'm going to move on to the plant kingdom. Let's see what the plant kingdom has to say. Sometimes plant kingdom has a tendency to smack me around a little bit. So warning, everybody. <laughs> and smack me around, smack us around a little bit. So warning. But let's tune into the plant kingdom and see what they can add for these energies for us this week. Makes sense. It feels like the beginning and middle of the week, you're dealing with these harsh energies, this energy that makes you feel stuck. I feel like there's this overbearing, controlling energy that you feel like you can't get out from under. You feel stuck in a situation and you're stuck because of your fear. And moving forward in love versus fear, you know, that it's different. And sometimes the way that you're afraid to move forward, like you're like, I can't, I can't do that because, you know, there's no way I can afford it and da 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 That's not how you're supposed to move forward. It's not that you face your fear by doing that. If you did that, your fears would come true. The way that you move forward is you, you calm yourself down and you find a more loving perspective. And then you think to yourself, well, what would be a loving way for me to allow myself to move forward? And again, the end of the week is coming through with this time aspect. Um, it's like saying, biding your time will guarantee success. Because... You know, the cactuses, they don't, it takes years for them to reach the point of bloom. Until then, they're, defend, they're defending themselves. And so I feel like this isn't a situation you're going to get a, out of right away. But you'll be able to gain divine inspiration of how to get out of it at the, at the beginning of the week. And it won't really work at first. Because it's 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 something that you have to you have to bide your time to gain success here. So yeah. And there's this overbearing energy that comes on you in middle of the week. It's an overbearing energy. You're just going to have to have faith that if you take your time, success will be guaranteed. This is not something to get out of or to fix overnight. This is not an overnight fix. Any overnight fixes are false illusion, delusion, lies that are there to trip you up. You're going to have to have faith and you're going to have to grab into your deep reserves to keep moving forward. And you're going to have to trust that by biding your time, success will be guaranteed. And this isn't biding your time with worry and doubt. It's biding your time with trust and faith that all things are working out for your good. Alright, beloveds, that's all that I have for the tarot for us today. I'm going to move these up here. I think I'm going to put him on top because it's it's all about faith this week. We're going to move these up here. I, I don't feel like reversing this overbearing energy because I feel like we're meant to endure it and we're meant to go through it. 
That's why I can guarantee you, if you do have faith, that it will work out for you. That's the reason why I can guarantee it, is because you were able to go through this overbearing energy and endure, endure through it. You're able to come through this feeling of stuckness, this fear, and you're able to endure and to bide your time with faith. So I'm going to leave that there. To me, it's like taking away, like helping a bird break out of its egg. It won't live, you know, so I want you guys to live and I want you guys to thrive. And so we're going to leave those energies as they are. We we know how to get through them and we can. And I, I have trust and I have faith in you to be able to do this. And I know that we got this, guys. And you just need to have trust and faith in yourself. And you can do it. You can. And then know that it, whatever it is that I'm talking about this week, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. Okay. So, let's move forward with the oracles and see what we have. So, today's first oracle is the Hidden Realms. Let's see what the Hidden Realms has for us this week. What information, help you have for us this week? Hidden Realms. The Word Lord comes. Communication, praise, dishonesty. The word Lord comes to help us with our communication this week. We're being guided in our communication. Make sure that you communicate praise and do not communicate dishonesty, but discern when others are dishonest with you. I do believe that this one has come out quite a bit, so I do want to say thank you to the word Lord for showing up and helping us to redefine our communication and um yeah it's time for you to believe that you belong communicating your intentions communicating your intuitions communicating your dreams it's time to believe that you belong communicating your dreams and the word lord is help here to help you this week to communicate better, to communicate with love, and to communicate praise for yourself and others, and to not communicate whenever it's not time to communicate, you know? If you don't have nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Like, and so the Word Lord's here to help you this week with that. So thank you, Word Lord, for your continued assistance for the collective and I. All right, let's move to the next oracle message this week. The next oracle message that we have is the Lemurian. Lemurian oracle. I love this one. This is tuning in with our deep ancestors of old and getting a message from them on how, what they think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way that I do this is I always set the card down and I will zoom in on the card for uh, about 30 seconds to a minute. And I want you to just tune into the card. I'll have a better camera soon, I promise, guys. And then see what your intuitive senses are saying that the card is saying to you. And then I will read the card and see what I see in the card. And we'll see if we match up, if I confirm you or not. And then I will read what the card says. And maybe the card will confirm you. Sometimes the card confirms me. Other times it does not. Sometimes it confirms the whole message, which is really cool. So let's see what the Lemurians have for us.
All right, so what I see is the ancestors are saying that they see and hear our prayers, especially for them, and our prayers of love, and they see our desire to spread light in the world, and they are grateful for the work that we are doing. And they are saying that we are creating ripples. We're creating ripples with our work and it's magical. And they're saying to continue to spread our light with love and to continue to move forward. And I don't know, they see us, they see our transformation. They think that it's beautiful and they want us to see our own beauty. All right. So let's see what the card says. The violet flame. As we deepen our spiritual path, step out of illusionary constructs and become empowered beings. Life presents more opportunities to grow than before. Your sensitivity will be heightened, so it may be harder to spend time in places with certain energies. Do you have a range of accessible go-to practices for re-centering, cleansing your aura, and protecting your energy field? A routine for psychic fitness will keep your aura strong and resilient. Your energy is sovereign and your vibration high and help you to see through illusions that block or disorient. Bring the violet flame into your meditation and self-care practices for graceful rebalance. All right, guys, I think that that was beautiful. It fits in so beautifully with our card reading here. It helps us to gain insight of how we can navigate these energies, understanding that there are certain people that we might not be around, need to be around for now, and, and to have a practice, an accessible go-to practice for recentering. I feel like that's going to be important this week, continuing to cleanse your aura and protect your energy field. I feel like that's going to be very, very important this week. So, and we will be able to see through the illusions and yeah, bring the violet flame into your meditations. Imagine a violet flame burning wherever you would like to cleanse you, your aura, your space, your home. Yeah. All right. So let's get our next oracle card. The mystical shaman. Yeah, the mystical shaman. Let's see what we have here. Again, the wild woman. She continues to come out too. So I'd like to say thank you to the wild woman for reminding us of our freedom and for being brave and for reminding us of our bravery. So yes, the wild woman is here. She says, dance and be free. It is time to dance and be free. Be your wild self. So yes, open up to <sighs> open up to feeling free. Open up to feeling Feeling love and light in your body. Open up to allowing your body to move and dance with the flow of life. 
feel open about your commitments. Only commit to what you can feel open to. Thank you, wild woman. And whatever you gain from seeing this wild woman card, you know, if it makes you feel like, you know, going out and connect, reconnecting with someone, then yes, I mean, so I'm saying this is an intuitive exercise for you too. What, what do you sense from these cards? That's more correct than what I say. I just hope that I bring you some confirmation. But yes, I, I just, I feel the thing, the word that I keep hearing is freedom. Freedom, freedom. Free to be you. Free to love your way. Love your way. Yeah, I love that. Love your way. All right, beloveds, let's get our next card. This card is from the Shadow Oracle. And the Shadow Oracle is saying... That it is time for us to be sovereign in our self-empowerment. To empower ourselves and to stand in our own sovereignty this week. So I feel like, yeah, that strength is coming through. And there's going to be a need to um, rise like an eagle and see the higher picture. See the bigger picture. See from a higher perspective. So try to see things that are happening from a higher perspective. And I really loved what the Lemurians came through and said with um, have time, try to make time and space to take care of you. And if you're around energies that are just too much, too, too intense for you to handle, then have a self-care practice. This is a time you need to take care of yourself this week. Okay. Okay, beloved. It's, <laughs> you got to take care of yourself. But that's okay, you know, as we take care we take care of ourselves first and then we're able to take care of others very, very well. And you've got to protect your decisions and commitments. And I think that's why Wild Woman is coming through. And she she's hoping that you commit to freedom and that you open up to feeling free. But she's saying that um, you know, your commitments are very important and do not commit unless you can feel open to it. If you feel closed down, do not commit. It's okay to say no. Like, I, I feel like it's okay to say no. This week is okay to say no to certain people. Also, I, I don't know. I, I was drawn to this moon card right now. So, again, I'm, I'm feeling like the feelings that are coming up this week, some of them are not going to be logical to what you're going through at the time. You might be, like, going through a really happy time, but these intense emotional feelings come up. And that is kind of because they're coming up for healing. They were feelings that you pushed down long ago. And they're coming up now because they feel like it's safe to come up. So do understand that. They might not have a logical reason. But the logical reason is they're ready to be healed. So feel subconscious feelings will be coming up for you this week. Try to feel through them. And the way that we do that, like... Allow yourself to feel the sadness and then move through the sadness into the joy by pep talking yourself. And the word Lord is here to help you find the right words to be able to help you pep talk yourself to move into joy. So we feel illogical feelings. They're here for no reason. Oh, the reason is they want to be felt and healed. So what do they feel like? Oh, this is what they feel like. Oh, gosh, they really feel that way. That's how they feel. Okay, well, I'm going to go for a walk, and I love walking, and I love the woods, and I love being out here, and I love the animals, and I love the sound of the birds, and I love the feel of the sun on my hair. You moved into joy. Do you see that? You, you felt them. You allowed them to be felt, and then you moved into joy. That That's processing our feelings. So things like that are going to come up for you this week. The chance to do things like that this week. So just continue to empower yourself. That's important this week, self-empowerment. All right, so let's get our final oracle this week. This week, our final oracle will be from the Fae. Fairy Wisdom Oracle by Nancy and Amy Brown. Mother-daughter duo. Love them and I love their oracles. That's fairy Wisdom. Okay, so this week, when fairies go bad, 
when fairies go bad, it's for a reason. They have a reason to go bad. Um, it's like when pit bulls go bad, they have bad owners that taught them bad things. <laughs> and when fairies go bad, it's the same reason that humans go bad. Um, it's a life that tears you down consistently. And I feel like this is saying to surrender to the process and to understand that there are reasons and whenever you go through these life things that turn other humans bad they give other humans excuses to be a bad person but you go through them and you continue to be a good person then you are changing the world and you're making the world a better place to be in and you're showing that it is possible to overcome. And part of it is to surrender to the process of the beating. <laughs> it's like what I'm hearing. But don't surrender to abuse and being beat. Like I'm, I'm talking about like the life's beatings that happen. Get away from abuse. Like find a way to protect yourself and cleanse yourself and cleanse your aura. And take care of you. And, you know, I think another reason why, why fairies go bad is they expect others to take care of them. They don't take care of themselves, and they expect others to do it. And nobody's going to be able to take care of you like you can. How could they? They can't feel your feelings. Nobody could, nobody could feel that that feeling that has no logical reason was coming up but you. Nobody could do that. And nobody's able to feel through it and move it into joy but you, you're the one that feels it, you know? So don't get upset that others aren't the ones taking care of you. You've got to be the one. I mean, if anybody is your responsibility, it's you. You, you're your responsibility. But I feel like a lot of you guys know that. But the fairy and the fae realm are coming through this week to say that there's going to be a need to surrender to the process. Don't take abuse. Stand up for yourself. But surrender to your pro to the process and move forward with love and hope. Don't let nobody kill your love or hope. And move forward loving and protecting your heart's desires. And have faith. Have faith. Move freely. Be free. Take care of yourself. Speak, speak wisely. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Take care of yourself. Celebrate how far you've come. You might not have no kind of results to celebrate right now, but you can celebrate what you've done. You've done a lot. You've done a lot and you've come really, really far. Celebrate. There's reasons to celebrate, so celebrate. All right, beloveds. I do believe that is all that I have for you. If you guys enjoyed this message and enjoyed how I do the readings, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I thank you all so much for joining me for this reading. I do pray and hope that you got something out of it, especially if you made it this far. And I thank you guys so much for joining me. If you would like a personal reading, you can check out my website, themysticillbilly.com. Or if you'd like a more personalized reading, you can check out my members page. We do daily card reads and new moon and full moon in-depth readings, a lot like this one. But it's more personal because... There's really not a lot of patrons, you know, and I guess there's not a lot of subscribers right now either. So, but you know, it is what it is. But if you'd like to support me, please join my Patreon. It's only two dollars a month. I think I would love you so much to be there, and I would thank you so much. But I thank you so much anyway, and I'm so thankful that you joined me on this journey of explorations of energies of the week. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And I pray, as always, that Mother, Father, God, and Goddess bless you with love.